If you've ever tried to save AliExpress images or videos, you will notice that either you can't right click to save the file, or when you do save it, it doesn't work. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to save the videos and images from AliExpress without the use of any apps. Before we get into the video, if you like videos about winning products, drop shipping, Shopify themes, apps, and tutorials, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. Now let's get into the video. Now if you're wondering, are these videos and images copyrighted? Will I get in trouble if I use them? I couldn't find anything about the use of videos and photos coming straight from the AliExpress website. But with any product import app you use, such as Oberlo for example, it is going to pull these same images from the listing. And AliExpress as a website is intended for dropshipping, so I'm pretty sure this is the intended use for the videos and images. However, if there's any question in your mind, you can always reach out to the supplier to confirm. Alright, so let's do photos first. Let me just show you what happens when you try and save an image. You get this .html file, and if we go ahead and save it, and I try to upload it, you will see that it doesn't work. And this is because it's not a photo file. So the way around this is to right click, click inspect, and then click this little icon over here, and then click on the photo. Now if you move your mouse over here to where it's highlighted in gray, you will see a box pop up with the photo and a link. Click the link under current source, and now you should see a full-sized image. However, if you try and save it now, you're still going to get that weird file type that doesn't work. So what you're going to do instead is look at this link and find where it says .jpg. Then erase everything that comes after this. Now press enter to reload the link and you can now save the image. Before we move on to how to save videos, I want to invite you to join our Facebook group for Shopify dropshippers. The group is a great place to receive feedback on your store, your ads, and talk to myself and other dropshippers. So check out the description box for the link to our group. I hope to see you there. All right, let's save a video now. So if I try and save this as is, you're going to see that I will get this .webp file again, and this is completely unusable. So to save it properly, you need to start by pressing play on the video because the way it's set up is they have an image covering the video. So if you try and do this without playing the video first, it's going to try and save the photo on top. So by pressing play, it gets rid of the image. So press play, then right click, click inspect, click this icon, now click on the video. Now look at the area it highlighted and you should see a link that ends in .mp4. Click that, then press Ctrl C to copy it, and then you can paste it in your internet browser by pressing Ctrl V. The link should look something like this where it ends in .mp4. Press enter, and then you can right click and click save as to save your video. So here are both of these added to my listing. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below and I'll do my best to help. And if this video helped you, do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this.